on line one. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 standing. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What have you got to say about what's happening? I'm so happy that that Deputy Martinez survived. I've seen her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Oh, you did a really great job. And uh, as a thanks for all you did there, I just wanted to tell you that I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza. Whoa! Oh, let's fucking go! <laughs> wow, Brian. That's really good of you. But you really don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can do. And if you like it, well, you're in luck. Because we're always running great deals that'll have you eating for pennies. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. Oh. Horrible. Oh. Yeah, that was a bad. Hey, don't worry about it. It's all right. Oh, thank you, Forrest. Well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else off coming on down to... Jesus Party Christ, Pizza. man! We've got a great special this weekend. Our famous beer and pizza deal. Wait a minute. Come on down to Pony's Pizza this weekend! You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself... God damn it, you're just calling in to advertise your shop. Don't forget. Peggy, hang up on him. Done. Oh, real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Now, a word from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? <laughs> no. In flight check time. Christ. Our captain would like to remind you that the station is required by law to play advertising. What was that tape I got? Oh, I left it on it. Grab a cassette and stick it in the player. What do I get? When's this one? America! <laughs> oh, where I put this in at? What? The cassette player is on the desk in front of you, just oh. above the sound blaster. There should be a cassette in the dock nearby. Oh! <laughs> Give me that back. Is it in? Wait, what? Oh my God! I am fucking dumb. Hit eject to open the player, then stick yes, the tape in. Yes, I know. Then I was you just fucking... gotta hit play. I I hit the wrong button, didn't I? There we go. Done. Shut the fuck up, Brandon. I know I'm stupid. A devout Christian and a proud patriot. Teddy Gallows Jr. Ah! Gallows Creek. Like his father and all his fathers before him, Teddy Gallows Jr. has worked hard to create jobs, improve infrastructure. And make Get that ready. A good place to raise a family. Unlike current mayor Linda Cartwright, Teddy Damn. Gallows Jr. lives in Gallows Creek. He's our neighbor, and he stands with our neighbor. I want to go get that like tape I left. You fucking whore. Years of keeping the peace. Mayor oh damn! Right is trying to force into early retirement. Teddy Gallows Jr. doesn't believe in keeping a good man out of a job. Teddy Gallows Jr. believes in the American dream. Does Linda Cartwright? Help Teddy Gallows Jr. keep Gallows Creek a good American town. Help him become mayor. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Vote for Teddy Gallows Jr. My name is Teddy Gallows Jr. And I approve this message. You're a whore. God, what a jackass. Percent. <laughs> Great A asshole. Linda Cartwright isn't super herself, but she's not. Yeah, we don't have any more of those ads to air tonight, do we? No, just the one. Good. I have to ask though. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Oh, he set the home run record for Gallows Creek High. Uh, of course he's one of those guys. Yep, people. Fuck. Lots of sports back in the day, and he never lets anyone forget it. Right. Let's just get back to. Throw in the fucking trash. 
Well, folks, hearing that reminds Fuck it. me that every vote matters. That ad really made me want to take a swing at Teddy Gallows. Shut you the fuck. Take a swing for Teddy Gallows. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Let's find out from our next caller who's got their vote. Welcome to the Scream with me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs and. Wait. Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. What? God, another one? I'm guessing you've not been tuned in to our show tonight. Damn it, son. What does that have to do with anything? Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? No. I can cite you as an anonymous source. From this point on, I don't know Sir. what the fuck happens in the game. We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on... Damn it. All right. There's obviously a lot more going on than I know. Yeah, you, there's a lot happening tonight. You said someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in. Dressed as the whistling man. Oh, you're and fucking stupid. Teens. They get worse every year. Nah, this punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. Totally don't. I, I actually there. don't. I covered it. And now Maurice, he's back. I don't know what's going on, but he's back. The whistling man is back. Don't be an ass, Nash. Every year this happens. They Every think it's year. funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Where are you now? Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. You can watch them on any TV set here. And there's a set in the boardroom. Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Ah, I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. He's blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out? That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is... Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? In different rooms, with different extensions. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. Five minutes time. That could work. Exactly! It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Yeah, sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out... <sighs> you realize how stupid that plan Do you realize right? you can shut the fuck up, that old man? successful, you're gonna need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. Thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. Oh, I don't like you. You... You don't think the killer got him, do you? Mr. How the Russell... But I'm here. The freak's going to be here any second, too. Go check your fax machine. Don't let me down. Tell me where the fax machine is again, Peggy. I don't know why I said that. I know where it is. The office on the other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. Okay. Go to the office on the other end of the hall. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. This must be it. 
Okay, so there's the stairs, kitchen, editor's room. Okay, extension. Where the fuck would I want to call him at? Oh, okay, so boardroom's where he's at. Kitchen? Uh, editor's room? No. Yeah, maybe archives. I don't fucking know. Hey, did you get the fax? Yes, I have. Mr. Russell, you, uh, you still with us? I am. You get my fax? Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Fuck you! Okay, folks, we're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. Here's the situation. The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. And now, he's in the office next door. Office space. It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again, we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number. And then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? Where the fuck? Editor's office? Call the editor's office. The extension is 03. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, I thought you. editor's files was being shit. Where the fuck? Archives? So we're sending them the editor's. We want... Ah! <laughs> You're moving to the kitchen. Yeah. That makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. Not bad, Nash. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Make the call. Yes, Go, sir. old man! Calling now. I can't believe it! He's actually heading to my office! It was all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Ah, uh, don't mention it. The coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my move, I'll call when I get there. Okay, Mr. Man! Do you think he'll make it okay? I'm sure he'll be fine. I, I fucking hope so. Now, what do we do? Actually, I don't really hope he's coming to some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is going to buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We got to think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could Oh, call incoming. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. I don't think he saw me. Gotta give you credit for that, but I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh, right, let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. I, I can move the furniture out of the way. But it's gonna take some time. Or quickly, or quietly. Yeah, these two are totally not fucking correct. You lock, you lock them in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. Have yeah, fight him, old man! Give him the good old fist the cuff! Has to unlock from the inside. He'd be able to get out just as soon as... Wait. Wait, wait, no. No, no, no. I got it. The secret archive through my office. Where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive? Roger oh, pff, that's on the map. He drew down the what map. What back there? Juicy secrets about outer space? Outer space! Now's not Peggy, the time, Peggy. Peggy. Now's the time to be playing around like that. You're right. Sorry, Forrest. Kids, we're in the big time now. I've got it all figured <laughs> <out. laughs> in the archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. You can't break out. If we can get him in there, and I lock him in... We can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Oh my god. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have- Damn! <laughs> oh, 
We're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? I doubt there's a TV in there. Don't do that. Maybe use a radio? We could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. That might be what we need then. Is his portable radio still there? It should be. It's what he calls his work radio. Should be in the archives, actually. I'll sneak over while our friend is still distracted with his search. I'll call you back once I've got the radio. Damn, this motherfucker is leaving and calling what back a lot. Him, Forrest? Heck, yeah. if this works, we might even save the whole town. Okay. Yeah, let's make it happen. Let's, Fuck let's it. Let's make it happen, Peggy. How can we fail? I mean, it's a plan with steps. I'll. Get the radio, plan it in the secret archives, lure the killer, and... Oh! Call incoming from the reporter. Putting it through now. Nash. Damn, oh. already? Oh. Nash, are you there? I'm here. Yes. Is everything okay? I found the radio. It's right where I thought it would be. It's in all my ass. together. I'm just gonna turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. Yeah, totally fucking sure you were, dumbass. If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Uh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. Yeah. Wait. Ah, oh, god damn it. If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead! You just... Oh, that's a good point. Lord, the killer to another room? Where the radio? We can just be quiet until you're ready. Eh, if you can do that, then... Yeah, sure. 189.16, I know that's your station number. But a good editor always double checks. Can you confirm that? You got it. 189.16. Good. I've got the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? Um... Well, definitely not the fucking archives. The kitchen is where he's at. So, boardroom. <laughs> boardroom. The extension is 04. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office. But we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? Uh, yes. I'm sure. Make the, the other two rooms okay. would be really Calling fucking stupid to now. send them to. He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? I'll call the killer jackass. No, uh, well, he's looking for Mr. Russell, so I'll keep. It. Yeah, no. I'm gonna do my best impersonation of Maurice. I think that'll draw the killer in. What's your Mr. Russell impression? I think I gave that mask freak the slip. What a great plan this is, Pearl. Uh, I'll give you an A for effort. Ooh, call coming in. Here we go. I'm here. The radio set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I am... Uh, good question. It's under my desk, but, uh... You can That's see... That's dumb. Under... I've got a big cabinet, but, uh, That'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but, uh, That's where the kill is going. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Your judgment has kept me alive so far, Nash. What do you reckon? The big cabinet. Hide in your cabinet. All right. Well, this is it. I'm going to go turn.
turn the radio up to full blast now. Don't say anything until I've had time to hide. You got it? We know yeah. the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. I think it should be safe now, Forrest. That's it! No more hiding! I'm a tough old man! I've been on the beat longer than you've been alive! Come on down, whistling man! Come and get a knuckle sandwich! <laughs> this is dumb. Listeners, this is Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And if you've just tuned in... See you in hell, kid! We've just locked up The Whistling Man. Fire! Get fucked, nerd! Beautiful bastard! <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked! Come on, Maurice. Was there ever any doubt? Thank God it's over. I'll be off now. Gotta get out of here. Write up a few notes. Call a few friends. I'd feel safer waiting for the cops to come grab this freak with some company. Hey, maybe you and me could do an interview tomorrow for the Gallows Reporter. I'll think about it. I'll see what tomorrow brings. I'll take that as a yes. Talk to you soon. There we are, folks. The Whistling Man is locked up. Let's all take a deep breath. And play some killer tunes.